As we stand on the threshold of a new age in automotive propulsion, hybrids, electrics, micro-turbine nuclear fusion reactors that run on San Pellegrino, we should start to look around and ask, what is, or what will be, considered the greatest conventional gas-powered automobile in history? Yes, yes, split-window Corvette, Lincoln Zephyr, Ferrari Testarossa, the usual suspects. But I mean a new car, the last best example of the technology, that extracts the last possible therm of heat energy, the last measure of erotic charge, out of gasoline, using a whirling stove-hot air pump, which is to say, an engine. It might be this car. The Audi R8 5.2 FSI Spider plays out the string of the great R8 mid-engine coupes that came out a couple of years ago. This car is obviously devastating to look at, an evil genius's stealth attack hydroplane. Actually, it was the product placement get of the year for Audi since it was Iron Man's car. The R8 Spider has the awesome power to open men's wallets at a thousand yards. And this model gets the Lamborghini-sourced V10, a modest 525 horsepower affair with a futuristic, almost turbine-like whine. Imagine Pink Floyd is your engine builder. $161,000 to start. Figure, 180 with all the trimmings. Zero to 60 in four seconds, top speed of 195 miles per hour. Those are all properly insane numbers. Not only that, the R8 is a convertible, a spider. And you know what that means. Ziggy played guitar, jamming good with wit and kitty. And the spiders from Mars, get it, spiders? This top is a fantastic piece of work. All canvas buttresses, swiveling wings, scissoring lever arms, the most kinematic headgear since Marv Albert's hair. And that is cool. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Dan Neal.